So if you can't watch it or if you're re-watching this, I want to say Grand Rising. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining the magic circle and thank you for healing. Um, I think it's such a brave act to take time to be with yourself and to learn yourself and to acknowledge the different parts of ourself. Grand Rising, Elsa. So I'm going to um, tell you guys a little bit about like my rising practice. I really try to wake up. Um, I rinse my mouth with coconut oil, not every day, but most days because coconut oil, um, for a good 10 to 15 minutes, it takes away any extra bacteria in your mouth before you drink coffee, before anything, and you spit it in the trash. And it really cleanses your gums and mouth unlike any toothpaste or mouthwash can, right? Um, also, it depends on what I'm needing, you know, um, that day if I do affirmations in the mirror. Uh, this rising, I did a meditation. And then I stretch, do a few exercises, go on about my day. My r routine switches up because um, if, it if it becomes too routine for me, then I become kind of lazy with it, to be honest with you. <laughs> so I switch my routine up. But um, it's going to be a lot of silence. I'm going to pull a self-reflection card for us. And then I'm going to do the singing bowl. And then I'm just going to be present with the energy and do some uh, distance Reiki. And that's pretty much it. What do we need to know today for our soul and our inner work, spirit, angels, and ancestors? What do we need to know? Thank you. Thank you. Um, a lot of you, too, I feel, need to begin calling on archangels, maybe do some research on archangels. Um, research on some archangels because archangels really they're all here to assist us sometimes we just don't realize it so am i ready to let go of this buried shame two cards came out the feeling of shame is the lowest energy frequency there is when you live in shame you live in darkness what part is ready to stand in the light is there any shame from your past experience that is ready to be healed Heal the shame by giving it a name. Bring it to the light and let it be seen, heard, and healed. It's rival season. Replace the shame with your soul's truth. So shame is something I think that we all kind of carry, right? Um, at some point, you know, we feel shame if we mishandle something. You know, um, parent shame, mother shame. You know, oh my gosh, I should have done this. Or if you see a mother doing something that you feel like could have elevated or helped your child oh i need to do this or you know whatever it is but we we, we try to hold on to shame um to guilt trip ourselves to make ourselves feel bad especially if you were conditioned to feel bad about a lot of stuff then you will hold on to shame you know shame is the lowest vibration i remember i had shame from how i handled money during my like after my divorce like, I felt like I should have started, like, budgeting sooner. And how silly is that, right? Uh, my brother-in-law was murdered. My other brother-in-law had cancer. My uncle died. Father-in-law drank himself to death. My daughter was sick. I was sick. I lost my house and my dog died. Yet, there, is a sh there was a shame there that I just released because... I felt like I should have had it all together, you know? And I felt so much blame, right? Like, how silly is that? Nova came to say hi. Who came to say hi? You take stuff. Say hello. Hello. Um, do I believe I am worthy? You are worthy, you are deserving, you are loved. Start seeing the divine beauty within you. 
you go out and claim the life you have dreamt of and pay for it. Put it on your head and wear it. For a big goal or dream you have, ask yourself, do I feel worthy of this? Right? Sometimes we think we feel worthy. Yes, I know I deserve it. But then, like, I've had moments where I've had to check myself, like, where something will come up, like a blessing will happen, and then I'll get anxious. Right? And I have to remind myself, oh, you deserve this. You deserve this, baby. You deserve this, Cynthia. You are worthy. You are deserving. Like, this is your new life. No more suffering. Really suffering. And I don't think sometimes that we realize that we have that option to release suffering and, and pain so that we can acknowledge and accept our worthiness. So we're going to start with a few deep breaths. So the biggest thing, too, with your um, outer breath is it should be extended. Your inner breath can be held, and then your outer breath should be like you're blowing on soup. Visualize that you're blowing on soup or a hot food before you put it in your mouth um, so that you can release more from your body. Um, on my rising tea, and I posted the tea that I'm drinking today, it says meditation is medication. Boop. <laughs> So sometimes um, we're running from ourselves, and it's not meditation doesn't necessarily have to be long but even if you put on a timer of three minutes and do some breath work right that's what we'll do right now so we're gonna do our breaths and I'll show you And then when the timer goes off, we'll switch to the singing bowl. So we're gonna do our breaths and with the meditation, you can set an intention right before it, or the breath work. You can say, um, I'm going to be breathing in my new reality and peace with peace, abundance, and love. And I'm going to be releasing any energy with, that no longer serves my highest good within my body or surrounding me with ease and very little effort on my end. Be clear with your intentions, right? So, just set it, let's begin. Always be sure because sometimes because of my neck surgeries my shoulders try to stay up so move your shoulders in between wherever you feel the tension you can rub it touch it move it and then go back to your breath work
during your breath work you feel any uneasiness or you, f you start getting distracted about things you have to do or any pain because you know you guys know I talk about my body a lot the different things breathe into that area move that area show that area love I love you thank you okay because the pain is bringing awareness that something is in a place of dis-ease so we can remove that right and we can give that love and love is the highest vibration you can obtain and then you continue breath, hold it, and breathe out, and remind yourself, your hands, because being present is also touching yourself and making yourself aware I'm here, you know, anytime I find myself trying to consume myself with worry or stress, I say, Cynthia, I'm here. All is perfect. All is perfect, right? And then I'll, you can go, peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. My peace begins within me. You show gratitude for yourself for being here because you don't have to show up. You don't have to pour into yourself. You, you can choose to run away from this, especially when we have people around us that know nothing about this stuff and that are like, like, what are you doing? Or that's weird, or it's evil, or it's this or that, you know, because it's different. Isn't, isn't it so bizarre, the human race, how, how we run from something that's different? One time my daughter, my younger daughter said to me, we were watching some Discovery Channel, and I said, the fish is weird because um, it's its whole outside was visible and I was like Ugh, that's w or how it ate I was like that fish eats weird she was like it's not weird it's normal for that fish and I was like you're right thank you you know so Noah what are you doing what happening what are you doing here you saying hello Okay, so now we'll do the singing bowl. Be open to receive.
worry doesn't belong with you anymore. It's time for you to break up with worry and fear and be open to receive because you are an abundant blessing. You are a gift. And spirit wants you to go home. Not home in like leaving this earth yet, but home to your highest self and home to the true love of your life, which is within and which is you. Give your body some love, rub on yourself. I love you, thank you. Show every area of your body love. Thank you feet for helping me stand when I didn't feel like I could anymore. Thank you legs for helping me walk. Thank you, womb, stomach, for helping me process my food and carry children. And for your heart, for helping you love and, and, and claim healing on your heart. And remind yourself that it is safe to receive healthy relationships, whether that be in friendships, soul tribe, or a partner. Thank your arms, thank your mouth, thank your head. Show love to every area of your body so that your body knows that it is willing to receive an abundance of love and not worry and stress. If you have trouble crying, it's because your soul doesn't feel safe um, crying, or your inner child doesn't feel safe being seen and being validated and wasn't validated with the tears, or you may feel like you're tired of crying, but crying is one of the healthiest ways to acknowledge your inner child and release resentment, release worry, and release pain. So. I'm going to end it there, guys. You can replay this. You can receive the energy at any time. I want to thank you so much for trusting me. Thank you for being here. Um, I do do long-distance Reiki sessions that last um, 30 minutes. Um, I do in person as well, but, you know, with the, all the restrictions. Um, so that's pretty much it. I wish you peace, love, and abundance, and fun. Have some fun. Do something that brings you joy today. I love you. <laughs>